So this is how you can arrange files on your iPad. Let's get started. So when it comes to the files app, which is the one, uh, the official one from Apple, which you can use to store your files and organize them as much as you want. So if you'd like to arrange them in some ways, you will need to use the features available within that application. So usually people want to put their files into folders. So in order to do that, click on the folder plus icon to start a new one and give it whatever name you want. Then you can drag any of your files or even just select them and move them to that folder for a better arrangement and a better like visibility of your like files, right? What is important to mention, of course, is the location, which is kind of confusing for a lot of people because on the left panel, you have the locations and sometimes it's not clear where the files are stored because by default it will give you the iCloud drive so it is like on the cloud on the internet but you can also go to on my iPad and that is like a completely different place because we are now talking about the local storage so it is important to know that you have to like move the files in between in here and this gives you a better idea of where your files are Naturally, there are some third-party locations as well, like Dropbox, Google Drive, or even some kind of like PDF editors might have their own location within the Files app. So most definitely use it to your advantage. But if you get to any kind of location or any kind of folder, you can also just arrange them either as a list or as the icons or columns, right? So you can arrange them in a different order or a different like method of showing up. So that is very useful. And you can also sort them by the name, kind, date, size, and a tags. So this will, of course, like rearrange the files based on the conditions that you set up, right? So this is very simple. You can sort it by, as I said, all of these things and also decide if it's going to like, you know, the arrow, if it's going to go from the A to Z or the other way around. So you can decide how exactly you want that to show up. One last thing which I want to mention is that if you don't like the features of your Files app on the iPad, you can get a different app from the App Store to replace your file browser. A popular one is called the Documents, or, you know, if you just look up the Documents, you'll be able to find it, right? It used to have, like, different names, but this is what it kind of looks like, and this app is a great alternative for your built-in a file manager from Apple if you would like to get a change or just play around with different options. But that's everything I wanted to show you in this video. If you have anything specific you would like to know more about, subscribe for more tutorials in the future and let me know about the thing that you want to see because I might make an updated video in the future. Stay tuned and I'll see you later.